Hey everybody, this is Eli with Premiere on Script, and in today's video, I want to just give a demo of what we're going to be building in the next series of movies that I'm going to be putting out. Uh, I've been messing around with trying to remotely control Premiere a lot lately, and found a, a way of doing so that I think a lot of you will find helpful. This is not just a way to remotely control Premiere or just Premiere. Uh, this is this extends out to all Adobe applications where you could uh, go to a web page and then have some sort of UI and interact with your Adobe application from, say, your phone or a different computer, uh, ways to control it uh, remotely. So what we're going to build today is, um, or what we're going to build over the next few videos is uh, a couple things. Uh, first off, we have a panel, and we're going to, this one is called PPro Socket, and there, nothing comes up here. Um, but then if I go to this uh, web page that I've hosted on Heroku, um, we have this really simple UI, and it's going to enable a remote renderer where we can queue up sequences remotely. Um, and so here you can see I have three sequences in this project, and if I click this button in the UI, uh, it will return those sequences to our select uh, menu here. So if I were then to hit, uh, like, select sequence 3, and then run render sequence, we'll get the little update down here, and we can see that in media encoder, there's a, uh, a job that's been queued up and started for this movie. Now, I don't want that to finish. Um, but just to show you that this is happening in real time, I'm going to come in to Premiere, and I'm going to, let's say, just duplicate one of these and then retrieve the sequences again, make sure that we get all of these. So that's an updated list, and then I could queue up that new one that we just did, uh, just created, and that's gonna come out here to Media Encoder, Encoder and queue it up. Um, so simple, but powerful in what it can do. And I know this is all going on the same computer. What's really cool about this is, I'm going to pull up my phone right now, and I'm gonna go to the same website. Now let me get the recording going. Uh, so I'm on the same website. I'll just reload it. Uh, and from here, I can do the same thing. I'm going to put these up side by side, and I'm going to uh, retrieve the sequences and get all those sequences back. Matter of fact, let's uh, make it clear that this is brand new, and I'll name this one for phone. So we're going to retrieve sequences again from the phone go in here and choose the four phone sequence. And then I'm gonna click render. And that's gonna queue it up right there into Adobe Media Encoder. Um, so this is gonna allow you to control Premiere from like wherever you are. Yeah, I could be out across the world sending this request over to my machine uh, to do whatever I want. And remote rendering is just one like simple concept that I thought to illustrate this point. Um, but really your creativity can, can kind of uh, take it wherever it needs to go. So uh, check out the website. I have a full write-up there uh, with the kind of process of what this series is going to look like, or just follow the next couple YouTube videos, and we'll go step-by-step step through how to build uh, a remote controller, a remote renderer for Premiere Pro or whatever Adobe application um, you're trying to extend. Hey, everybody. This is